It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this product to explain in due time. All I know. Time is a Good morning. Value. We're kicking off with incredible, powerful tools for creating a magical, awesome, amazing new year. Now, you have your sheet of paper out. You've written down on one side all the things that you loved about last year and all the things that you hated about last year. Now, what's critically important about the right-hand side, those things that you really dislike, found challenging, things that you hated, what you must do in order to resolve those so that they do not repeat. Because we said these are the things that are not going to follow us into your new year. We do not want them. We will not have them in our lives anymore. And I said, don't worry about how you get rid of them. I said, just write them down. And hopefully you've done that. You've put down on the right hand side of your piece of paper, these are the things that I don't want this year. Now here's what you need to do with them. What you must do is find the gift, find the lesson, find what you loved about what happened in order to release it. See, the number one problem that most people do with things that they don't like about their life is they try and push it away. They try and get rid of it. They try and say, get away. I have a fear, so I am just push it out. I'll ignore it. I'll pretend it doesn't exist. I'll push it away. I'll resist it. And here's what every master knows. Anything that you resist, by the power that you resist it, its power increases exponentially to oppose you. It's a physical law. For every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. So when you try and push a fear away, It pushes back as hard as you push it away. So most people end up in this cycle where they push on a fear, the fear pushes back. Push on the fear some more, it pushes back some more. They push on it really hard, it pushes back really hard. You cannot get rid of a fear or a thing that you don't want or something in your life that you hate by trying to get rid of it. Here's how it goes away. Martial arts masters, when the bad guy, the villain, is rushing them, do they, like, put up a defensive shield and stop that and push back on that villain as hard as they can and and say, get away from me? Or do they accept their onrushing energy, accept the onrushing villain, and just merely deflect its energy and send it out the back door? So the villainous fear, the rogue program, the neural program that you're running that's creating pain for yourself, because other people are running this program and they're getting benefits from it. Sometimes there's some pretty big demons out there. There's some pretty big rogue villains in closets and under beds haunting us. It might be an alcohol addiction. It might be a health crisis. It might be being laid off. It might be you're above average and you're doing well, but you can't get out of a rut. You can't get that next promotion. You might be a small business owner and you're holding your own right now, but you're terrified that with the economic continued crisis that can your business survive? How do you inspire your staff and your team to greatness this year? It might look like that. But whatever it is, when you try and push something away, it pushes back. It's a law. You can't avoid that. Thank you for listening to The Inevitable Podcast. Please visit our website for more information on this extraordinary coaching system at www.theinevitableu.com. Then sign up for your two-week free trial of our membership to gain access to hundreds of hours of amazing content and tools just like this. Now back to Bill. So what you do with the fear, with a program, with a villain, with a demon, with something that's driving you crazy, accept it, embrace it, dance with it, love it, and then you get to do the big R word. You get to release it, and you release it out the back door of your life. You go, thanks. I'm glad you were here because you taught me something. 
So everything that's on the right-hand side of your paper, I hate, I don't want, never again will I permit someone to batter me, to be in an alcoholic haze, to continue smoking and ruin my health, to yell at my child, to be mean to my spouse or my lover, never again. I will not permit these things. You embrace them. You find the reason and gift and lesson why they are present in your life. And then when you take the gift, the lesson, the why they are in your life, you can release it because now you know why it's there. So why did this happen? You are not a victim. We are never, ever victims. We are, every one of you listening, every one of you are powerful beings. You may not feel powerful right now because most of you that are in a bad place are using really crappy recipe cards for how you create reality. When you change those recipe cards, your life changes. Because the neural recipe cards that we work on here on the Inevitable Radio Show will allow you to create magic for yourself no matter what is taking place on the rest of the planet. These are physical laws that we follow. These are not gimmicks. They're not motivational tricks. They're not pretend. They're real. This is how your brain works. We know so much more about the brain than we've ever known. Stroke victims are teaching us more about how we can rewire our brain, where we used to think that brain cells did not regenerate. We used to think that the brain was very rigid. And then if you lost a speech center, if you lost a motor function, you were stroked out, man, that was it. You were gone and done for. We now know how to rewire the brain. We now know things about how our mind works. And it's not even brand new. It's 10 years old. We can discover how our mind works. You can use these principles. You are not locked into the life you have today. You can create power and magic and extraordinary control over every event that takes place in your life. Powerful people do it today. We look at somebody and we record, well, they must be lucky or they have something going for them that we don't. The only thing they have going for them is they create reality different than you. And if you create reality the same way, if you use the same recipe card that they are using, your New Year is going to absolutely fly. Now, last show we covered some of the highlights as to why most people cannot create New Year's resolutions that work for themselves. But sometimes it's helpful for us to understand why people don't do well in the past. First of all, they make New Year's resolutions half-heartedly. They don't expect them to happen. They don't believe in them. And they make them at the very last second. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'm really going to lose weight this year. I'm really going to work on my diet. I'm really going to you know, love my spouse more. It's, it's just incredible what we do in the last minute. And then we record, well, I'm not very powerful. I mean, the number of callers that talked about, well, I don't even make resolutions anymore because they don't work. It's incredible. Resolutions do work when you use the right recipe cards this year. Can be, will be for those that choose it to be the most extraordinary, incredible year of your life. If you choose it, we design and create every one of us our lives thank you for listening to the inevitable podcast please visit our website for more information on this extraordinary coaching system at www.theinevitableu.com then sign up for your two-week free trial of our membership to gain access to hundreds of hours of amazing content and tools just like this